a little race, some kind of little race. And so I would like for y'all to discuss the little race for the folks out here in the audience. You got to come over here to the the and tell us how the race went, the feel of the race, the vibe that was going on at the race, how we did your fitness, the food, what kind of stuff you drank to stay going. Let us in. I managed. 24 hours I got them three up there. in Alabama, and uh, I mean, I probably remember about five hours after the first, you know, that was the first five, because after that, you know, it gets dark, and it seemed like it did. And, uh, you know, for me, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody in Arma for the fa fantastic and amazing support. I mean, it started at the banquet last year, and, uh, you know, it, it was kind of unexpected. It's something we got together, we talked about briefly, I think, but uh, you know, maybe we were fortunate enough to uh, have the opportunity, and I think the support from everybody here, or at least at the bank last year and throughout the year, being up to the event was absolutely amazing. I mean, just, it was an honor. It was an honor to be here with these guys as well, friends, teammates at, at the race, and uh, for me, that was just, I mean, it was really great. One of the best honors I've had in racing. The event itself, uh, so it was uh, was absolutely, you know, worse than I remember. <laughs> so I voted one other time, and uh, you know, we did it on vintage bikes, and, and Craig Hayes did a great job, you know, preparing and taking care of all of that. It was a lot of work, kind of work behind the scenes, and the support team at the race was is phenomenal, and probably more important than us. To be honest, you know, they kept us going, except for Tony who wake me up after 15 minutes of sleep. <laughs> and he said I'd have uh, 45 or 50, but uh, you know, that's another story. But, um, I mean, it was pretty physically demanding. I mean, these, what do you guys think? Well, needless to say, our legs didn't, mine didn't work for about four days. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was, uh, it was a typical, I don't know if anybody's ever done 24 hours in, in Alabama, but um, now Trampas can say he has. I did it in 2001, so 20 years earlier. Uh, I think Fred got a, a, yeah, a few times. Um, for me, uh, I, I think it was, it was a, an idea of Arma. Uh, I'm not sure whether it was Kurt's or Tony's or, or whether a conglomeration of people, but it was a way to, to hopefully promote uh, ARMA and to show people out there that, that riding and racing old motorcycles is, is still fun and still competitive. And that's something that I think some people forget. I, it, I love seeing young people come up here that are a part of ARMA and, um, because racing an old motorcycle is not that bad. Now the four inches, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of a struggle, but for our bikes, um, what, what stuck with me the most, and I was just at an event a few weeks ago down in Alabama, uh, a modern bike race, and I had a young guy come up to me, and he said, hey, I just can't believe you guys. We, I, he was like 20, 23 years old, I think is what he said he was. He said, here I am, 23 years old, on a 2021 motorcycle, and I'm blasting through the woods at 11.30 at night, and I think I'm going pretty good, and you blow by me on a 1983 motorcycle, and you're 63 years old? <laughs> that doesn't compute. <laughs> so it was, you know, it, it, it's really humbling, but it, it also, you know, it, it made me feel good because to me, what Arma set out to do, we accomplished, because he wasn't the only one. Um, I had other people, and I know these guys, you know, probably heard it in the, in the pits before trophy presentation that day, um, that, you know, people were amazed. As a matter of fact, a really good friend of mine that kind of got me back into modern racing a little bit, he called me up and said, Terry, we, uh, we didn't figure you guys would make it past midnight <laughs> let alone start out in 97th place and within 23 hours
climbed all the way to seventh. And this guy here, <laughs> Tony Paul comes to me at whatever time of the morning it was. It, I know I, I had the, the, the two worst times, right? At, at dusk and at dawn, and they, they always hate those times. And it, it just so happened it worked out to be me. But he came to me and said, Terry, I need three laps. I said, Tony, I can only do two. He said, no, I need three. I said, have somebody ready when I come around on the second lap. But I was able to do three. But this gentleman here, he hung tough at the end. It was wet and muddy, and he can tell you how it was. I know his hands showed it for sure. You know, for me, it was just a, an honor to get to ride with Terry, with Fred, and with Tommy Buter, who's not here tonight. And... Um, I know my little brother, he got to ride it, and uh, he was on the other team, and he's already going, can we go back and do it again? <laughs> he wasn't on a four-man team. <laughs> because I can tell you this, I called both of these guys the next day, and I said, are, are y'all's legs paralyzed? <laughs> I said, because I can't even walk. And it was literally one week before I got my legs back. But it didn't matter what place we got, it was just an honor to get to represent Arma, and it was an honor to get to ride with two of my dear friends and get to know another man, because Tommy is somebody very special, and I wish he could have been here tonight to enjoy in this. But I want to thank each and every one of y'all that gave us the opportunity. One other thing I want to say while I'm up here, did y'all enjoy that flyover? Y'all do not thank me. So Terry and Trini introduced me to a man a few years ago. And Mr. Jason back there who stood up here and got his first place trophy a while ago, he's the man who made that happen. Him and his dad. Dad's name's Dale, I believe. And uh, it had nothing to do with me and Sherry. Jason and Dale pulled that one off. And when he come to me and he said, what do you think about some vintage planes flying over? And I said, buddy, I finally might have one up on Diamond Don. <laughs> so I want to thank Jason and Dale because I finally got one up on Double D. So now I'm waiting to see what he's going to do next year. He'll probably have astronauts dropping out of the sky. Thank you very much for coming up here.